How to fix Windows cannot find a stray.exe. Solution 1, Step 1, Try reinstalling Intel Graphics Accelerator. If you had trouble reinstalling that component, try, remove existing Intel related applications, such as Intel Graphics Driver, via Control Panel. Then, reinstall required driver with Intel Registered Driver and Support Assistant, Intel Registered DSA, PK, Intel Driver Update Utility, at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash 6 ejdkv. FYI, Xtray.exe under C colon backslash Windows backslash System 32 is a legimate process of Intel registered common user interface. It is not required to run at startup. You may try disabling Xtray.exe from running with your system. Step 2, perform SFC scan and check if there are any corrupted system files causing the same issue. See more info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash tuna be. System file check, SFC, scan and repair system files and DISM to fix things SFC cannot. Solution 2, may work for Windows 7 only. Step 1, run Windows Media Player Troubleshooter, here's how at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash gjskzd. How to fix a corrupted Windows Media Player library in Windows 8.1. Dot. Step 2. Off Windows Media Player, then and turn that app on later. To do so, Run the following commands as admin, start slash w took windows media player slash uninstall, note, you must restart your computer, start slash w took windows media player more, remove any unwanted locations from the library, a. Open windows media player and click organize. b. Click on manage libraries and select music. c. Check current music library locatons, delete any unused ones there. Case study 2, windows Find xem.exe. FYI, xem.exe belongs to Product Intel, R, common user interface developed by company Intel Corporation. The process allows the user to modify settings tied to the monitor and graphics, including screen rotation, hotkeys, and extended desktop settings. Possible solution 1, step 1, download and install the latest and most compatible graphics drivers for Windows 10 operating system from the Intel website, or with Intel registered driver and support assistant. Step 2. Take a close look at Intel Graphics Control Panel in Windows Control Panel. Expand the Display Adapters category and right-click on the driver that's installed. You can uninstall it here or click on Properties and Update or uninstall the driver. When you update, rather than uninstall, you can point the process to any driver file that you might download from the manufacturer of your computer. Solution 2, Step 1, Install the latest graphics drivers for your computer. Step 2, Download and install drivers via Windows Updates. Solution 3, One, start your Windows in safe mode. Here's how at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash zufjfm. Step 2, perform clean boot to avoid any third-party software conflict. <laughs> 